Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about the topic of casually dropping political comments in conversation. I really like talking about politics. I like talking about it with people who have similar views to mine, and I like talking about it with people who have different views from mine. I like listening and understanding people's perspectives. But there's some ways in which people drop political comments that really set me on edge, make me uncomfortable, and make me not want to be around those people. Today I experienced an example of this. I was watching birds. I was at a hawk watch, which is basically a place where people go on a hill or a raised platform and look at hawks that are flying overhead during migration. So I'm there with people watching birds, and at some point this guy there starts making some comments about his son, and he's like, oh, my son's going to college, and he wants to go to this college in Colorado, and I'm really apprehensive about it because Colorado is such a liberal state, and they have all these liberal drug laws, and of course every 20-year-old wants to go to a state where there's legalized drugs so they can use drugs. He said something like that. And I got this really icky feeling when he was saying these things. There were a lot of different things that he said that I disagreed with, but I felt like the social setting we were in didn't make it easy for me to respond to him. He also didn't really make much eye contact with me, and he didn't really ask me how I felt about these things, or sort of even give me much of an opportunity to say anything. I would have had to kind of cut him off, or interject something into the conversation in a way that I think would have been a little bit abrasive. This left me with a really icky feeling, because there he was, and he had expressed all these things that I disagreed with, but I didn't really say anything in response to it. So that highlights a way that I think is not a healthy way to drop political comments in a conversation. I think that if you're going to bring up the topic of politics in a conversation, it's important to do so in a way that gives other people the space to respond if they want to. So I would recommend that it's not necessarily bad to just bring up politics, but I think if you're going to do it, I'd recommend pausing after you present any point that is potentially controversial, and giving the people opportunity to respond, and even paying attention to their nonverbal cues. Like, look at the expressions on their face, uh, see if it seems like someone wants to say something, uh, and then if someone seems like they're uncomfortable, like, give them an opportunity to talk, ask them how they feel about it, and listen to them. I think it's really rude to just dump a bunch of political statements on people and not give them an opportunity to respond and present their perspective. And I also think it's especially rude if they listen to you and then you don't listen to them. That's just a really bad thing to do. It makes me feel really bad when people do it, and I don't want to be around people who do that. I want to also make clear, this isn't necessarily something that is limited to people voicing conservative views. Most of my friends have pretty liberal views, and I hear them do this kind of thing a lot. I hear them bash Republicans, bash Republican policies, make long strings of comments one after another without giving people the opportunity to respond. It really rubs me the wrong way, even when I agree with their political statements or political viewpoints. So I hope that you've gained some insight here. Um, basically I want to leave you with this idea, it, there's nothing wrong with bringing up the topic of politics, but I think that if you're going to bring it up, make sure that you're willing to listen to people who may disagree with you. If you aren't in a good place where you really want to dedicate that time and energy to listening to opposing perspectives, then don't bring it up at all. I think that's really the best approach. And I think that if you approach the topic of politics that way, you will find that people actually enjoy being around you more, especially people who may disagree with your political views. And I don't know about you, but I think that's a good thing. I think it's good when people who have different political views are able to come together and like being around each other. Um, so I hope you've gained some insight from this. Thank you.